Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Brent Morgan, and today we're going to talk about statistics. More specifically, we'll talk about descriptive and inferential statistics, and we'll get some hands-on experience using the MagicStat platform. People use the term statistics all the time, but do we really know what it means? Statistically, women live longer than men. Party A is likely to get more votes than party B in the next election. And statistically, meaningful relationships with their loved ones make people much happier than anything else. So what is statistics then? Well, statistics is the science of gathering, organizing, analyzing, and drawing conclusions from data. Typically, we have some population of interest from which we'll draw a sample. We'll then perform statistical analyses on that sample, and we'll use the results of that analysis to draw conclusions. Statistics is typically broken down into two different types, descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. With descriptive statistics, we're looking at how can we describe this data set. So we're looking at measures of central tendency. What does a typical score in this data set look like? Or measures of variability. How spread out is the data? Or is it all clustered together? With inferential statistics, we're looking to make an inference and to try and draw conclusions and generalize beyond the current data set. So here's where we're looking at group differences, for example, or covariance as variable A goes up does variable B go up or does it go down or neither? So again, we typically can't assess the entire population. So we take a sample and then make inferences about the population based on that sample. So for example, let's say we have a data set where we have students take a test, but before the test, they study using one of two different um, learning methods and we give them one of two different types of tests. So this might be a small subset of what our uh, data looks like. We had uh, participants self-report their gender, and we have them use either flashcards to study, or they study with a tutor one-on-one, -on -one. and they have two different types of tests. They either have a test where they just have to recall some information, or they have to um, engage in problem solving. And then we get some sort of score on the, uh, on the test. So some examples of questions that uh, we can ask with descriptive statistics might be, what's the average test score for male and female participants, right? What does a typical score look like? How many females were there in the data set? Or how spread out were the test scores? With inferential statistics, on the other hand, we might have some questions like, did one learning type score better on the test than the other one? Or was there an interaction between learning method and type of test. We'll, co we'll cover interactions later in another video. So let me show you what this can look like in a statistic software package like MagicStat. So I'm going to open up a browser here and navigate to magicstat.co. And I'm going to open up my data file And here's the data file that we just looked at, right? We start here with the total uh, um, number of uh, participants in the data set. We get an overview of our, our first five and last five here. On the right side of our screen here, is, this is all the descriptive statistics that we're getting here. So we have it um, split into our categorical and numeric variables here. And then for our... Um, our numeric variable, this is just a, a, um, an ID score, a unique identifier that's not included here. But so then for um, here are the descriptive statistics for our test score with our, our mean and standard deviation, uh, uh, minimum and maximum, and our quartiles, as well as the modal score here. And then we have some displays. We have our, um, our bar charts for our categorical variables, and then we have histograms for our 
um, numeric variables as well as box plots. Okay, so let's go and look at uh, an example of our one of our inferential um, statistics questions that we had. Let's look at if there was a difference between the two learning methods. So will you perform an independent samples t-test here where we'll use learning method as our independent variable and see that our flashcards and tutor are both automatically uh, identified as our two groups. And then for our dependent variable will be the test score. We'll see how these two differ on test score. We click analyze and here's our output. So our uh, mean for the tutor was a 72 and two thirds roughly versus the flashcards had only a little higher than 63. So um, our T-score was a negative 2.96 with a p-value of 0 0.005. And that is less than 0 0.05, which is our typical threshold. So Magistat has it listed here in green. And so it's pretty unlikely that these two groups um, uh, got the same score by chance, right? And so this is a pretty large effect size as well. So that's what it looks like in Magistat. So going back, let's summarize what we've learned. The difference between descriptive and inferential statistics is with descriptive statistics, we're trying to describe the data, whereas with inferential statistics, we're making inferences. With descriptive statistics, we're making quantitative observations. And with inferential statistics, although we are using numbers underneath all of these observations, we're looking at qualitative observations was group one uh, larger than group two, right? They also differ in the types of analyses they do. So uh, again, with descriptive statistics, we're looking at things like central tendency and variability. Whereas with inferential statistics, we're using different models like correlations, chi-squares, ANOVAs, and so forth. Typically with descriptive statistics, as you saw, they, we display results with tables, charts, and graphs. Whereas with inferential statistics, we display those results with probabilities and the output from the model itself. And finally, with descriptive statistics, we're looking at just the existing data, whereas with inferential statistics, we're trying to generalize beyond the existing data. So hopefully you feel like you understand statistics a little better now. I know it's a difficult topic, but we hope we've made it approachable for you so far. Thanks, and make sure you check out the next video.